In this video, you'll learn how to run experiments to measure the incremental conversion uplift of using Performance Max campaigns. The newest campaign type that gives you access to the full range of channels and inventory in Google Ads. We've seen that advertisers that use Performance Max campaigns in their account see an average increase of 13% total incremental conversions at a similar cost per action. Now, you can test this for yourself to see how your account could benefit from using Performance Max. In the past, you may have used experiments to test changes to your search and display campaigns. If this is the first time you're hearing about experiments, there are tools in Google Ads that help you A-B test different features, settings, and campaigns to improve results for your business. For Performance Max specifically, you can run an experiment if you'd like to, Measure the incremental conversion uplift from adding Performance Max campaigns to your existing campaign mix. Or directly compare results from Performance Max campaigns head-to-head -head against standard shopping campaigns. This helps you understand the performance uplift you'd get from switching campaign types from standard shopping and moving forward with Performance Max to access the full range of Google channels and inventory. For this video, we'll focus on measuring the incremental conversion uplift from adding Performance Max campaigns to your existing campaign mix. You can run an A-B experiment to measure the impact on conversions or conversion value when Performance Max campaigns are added as a complement to other comparable campaign types. As a best practice, whether testing an existing Performance Max campaign or creating a new one, your Performance Max campaign should have the same targeting settings and should optimize using the same bidding strategy and to the same conversion actions as other comparable performance campaigns in the account. If setting a CPA or ROAS target for a new campaign, you can start with the average CPA or ROAS for the comparable performance campaigns. How does this work? When you create the experiment, Performance Max campaigns serve to users in the treatment arm of the experiment, which runs at 50% of eligible traffic. Your existing comparable campaigns that you've chosen for the experiment serve equally to users in both the treatment and control groups. All else remaining the same, we calculate the difference in performance when Performance Max is running alongside your other campaigns versus when it's not. Note. Performance Max campaigns using a Merchant Center feed are not supported for uplift experiments. Now that you understand why you'd use experiments, let's take a closer look at how to get started. To start, go to the Experiments page in your Google Ads account and click Performance Max Campaign Experiments. Click on the plus sign to create a new experiment. Select Test Uplift from Performance Max and click Next. Now is the time to select a campaign you want to test. Click Select Campaign to include the treatment arm of the experiment or Create New. In our case, we are going to create a new campaign. Next, give the experiment a name and select a start date. To make setup easier, we will automatically select comparable campaigns to add to both arms of the experiment such as your search display video campaigns that are optimizing to the same conversions, landing page, and have overlapping location and language settings. You can edit and change this list of comparable campaigns up to seven days after the experiment start date. As a best practice, run the experiment for at least four to six weeks, especially if you're testing with a new Performance Max campaign. Finally, click on Schedule to complete the experiment setup. Congratulations, your test is now set up. You will see it in the far left column. To see your experiment and measure results, go to the Experiments page, then click Performance Max Campaign Experiments. As your experiment runs, you can view the results summary table to see performance for the control and treatment groups. It's important to note, if this is the first time running a Performance Max campaign, Results will not be available for the first seven days in order to allow time for the campaign to ramp up. To see the end of your test, click End Experiment. There are two ways to end an experiment. If the experiment is successful, you can either launch the Performance Max campaign and it will start serving on 100% of eligible traffic to help you drive more conversions. Or if you wanna wait on launching the Performance Max campaign full time, you can pause the Performance Max campaign and enable it again at a later time. Then click Confirm. 
As a best practice, if the treatment arm drove more conversion slash conversion value at the same or better CPA or ROAS compared to the control arm, we recommend launching the Performance Max campaign to 100% of eligible traffic and increasing budgets to get more coverage and efficient conversions at that ROI. When Performance Max is fully enabled, it's eligible to serve on more traffic. Using the same budget as you did during the experiment could make you miss out on potential for capturing more efficient conversions. Well done! Now you know how to run an experiment to test uplift from a Performance Max campaign.